I'm Nigel Houston and I'm from Davis, California. I can't remember exactly what mag it was, but I know I was, I think I was eight years old and uh, I had a varial flip over a, over a gap in Southern California for an element ad and uh, I was super stoked. My first skateboard was a Tony Hawk board. First skateboard I looked up to, I'd have to go with uh, probably Eric Austin. One of the first videos I watched was the S Manic Body video and uh, I just remember Costin's part was amazing and it still is. And I just watched it so many times and was like, wow, this dude is amazing. First other sport I'd go prone would be rally car. I've definitely seen a couple fans like in autograph signings and stuff like, like shed, some, shed, shed some tears and cry. Um, I was in Mexico a couple weeks ago and uh, there was one kid that was like fully like bawling. Like, and then uh, me, and, me and everyone were like kind of confused. And we're like, dude, like, what's wrong? Like, be psyched, you know? And then uh, he just held up his board and it just said, Nigel Houston's my idol. And I just, uh, just gave, him a gave him a hug. Um, top five places I've traveled to, I'd have to say Australia first. The place is awesome. Um, Spain is nice. France. Um, I went to South Africa last year. That was sick. Brazil last year was cool. Three things you should know about me. Let's see. Uh, I love skateboarding. Um, very competitive. But uh, at the same time, I just love having fun, some with my friends and having a good time. The difference from now and back in the day, I mean, yeah, obviously skateboarding came a super long way with uh, contests like Street League and uh, skating contests for like 100 grand plus. Um, but I think what well, always will stay the same is just skateboarding for fun, you know, no matter if I was skating contests like this or no matter if I was professional or not. I think I would still just want to go out and skate with my buddies every day and just have a good time.